Hi everyone, this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures and I am going to do some earrings. Then I'm gonna be doing some brooches, then bracelets, and then necklaces last. So uh, if you want anything specific, like a bracelet, you might wanna fast forward, but either way, you, or you can just enjoy the video. Um, I already picked through some of these earrings and not a lot of them made the cut. Some of these shouldn't probably be here either. So, um, but there's some fun things in here. And um, anyway, so let's get started. All my earrings are $3 a pair. And I do have, if you buy four items, you get one free. Um, so, you know, you can pick, but it's always the cheapest one that's going to be the free item, just FYI. Okay, so. Um, we are going to go through a few earrings and, um, I wanted to show you, this is <laughs> my craft lot. Ooh, huh. <laughs> anyway, real quick. Yeah. Was it 20 pounds in the mail today? Yeah. I shipped some, um, craft to somebody. It was 20 pounds, but it all fit in a large, um, um, priority mailbox and that was 20 bucks so so I can ship 20 pounds for 20 bucks anyway so you're here huh well, you're not gonna show you. I'm not gonna show my face so it doesn't matter what my hair looks like <laughs> you guys don't want to see my hair so no. mom's with me my brother Joe's with me um, uh, Joe will be popping in and out, but um, we got the doors and the windows open, so we got air flowing. We've got adult beverages where everything's good. And I just got off work, and so let's rip through. This is about four bags of jewelry, so we're looking at including the craft about eight pounds of jewelry. So these are the earrings that are $3. You can see how big they are. These are clip-ons. These are glass. So these earrings are actually heavy. Go ahead, <laughs> let her rip. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, you know, you open up these lots and there's a lot of dust and particles in them that, you know. So you can see the condition of these guys. These are in really good shape. But these guys are glass and they are kind of, for me, on the heavy side. So, no markings. Whoops, let me get over here. No markings. I need to get centered. This is the first pair. Now, if you want anything, just send me a timestamp or even a photo. And um, I'll get those reserved for you and then I'll invoice you when you're done shopping. These are AB earrings. They're $3 a pair. This one's in nice shape. This one has some wear. This one's a little older. And if they do have markings on them, they're gonna say West Germany, Austria, or Japan, or maybe even Hong Kong. So, uh, these do not, none of these have any markings on them, but these guys, $3 a pair for some ABs. Okay, there you go. These, I think, are, because they're so similar. This one has a pearlized, and it might be glass under that coating, but these are pearlized, uh, not pearlized, uh, AB coated pearls, and all of the rhinestones are, um, accounted for. This one's missing a rhinestone, so this pair is gonna go into craft. Uh, I have no patience. <laughs> go, you just, you know, you guys are going into craft. Okay, let's, so let's see. Uh, everything's there. Uh, these guys are similar. These are more of an oval, so you can get the idea of the sizes. Um, no mark, no mark, but you can see the condition. These um, these two pairs are in really good condition. This one, these guys are aged. 
So there you go, $3 a pair. All right, let's go through some, let's pick out some themes here. I've got some purples. Any more purple? Yeah, these guys, these guys are really cute. So if you want some minis, mini clusters, those are super adorable little clip-ons. Really tiny, tiny. See the sizes? And then these are really nice. I like those beads right there. There's the back. These are cute too. These are kind of a rainbow uh, or peacock color, lavender. So these are $3 each. All right, so let's get some of these black and white ones. Out of the way, just kind of moving right along. There we go. So these do not have a mark. These are clip-ons, so they would go like, like this. Oops, oops, heavy. This up your ear like this. Let's see. So that would be up. So these would, so that would go that way, and this one. Hmm. Let me see. So that's up. So it would go that way, and this one should go the same way. You would think. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. So that's. Yeah, okay. And you got these Lucite ones. And then these guys, these do have a mark on them. I'll let you know what they are. Um, yeah, you go ahead and find the mark. So, and these do not have a mark. These do not have a mark. There's the backs. And so hand those over to you. All right. Make sure all those little stones are. This looks really old. Mm -hmm. This one does have a mark. I'm going to have Joe check for marks. Ann Taylor. Oh, these are Ann Taylor. So if you like Ann Taylor's, these are Ann Taylor. Here's some, I had a brooch like this that I put into craft and it's already been shipped out with my craft items, but these match it, but these are in really good shape. These have a, these actually have a mark on the back. I'll have them check those this for has you. This a patent number on it. Okay, so these have a patent number, so. Patented. And then I'm gonna check and see, make sure that they have the Stones. Some of them of the stones are like deep in there. Let's see if I can get these guys to do what they're supposed to do. But it does look like the stones are there. It does look like the stones are prong set. And then you can see that some of them are embedded in between. These are really nice earrings. And they're they don't look overly worn. But if you lose one of those deep set stones, eh, they're they're all there. They're it's amazing that earrings this old has they have all the stones. I'm gonna see as about how close I can get. But there's your sizes. Three dollars. All right, these are kind of cool. So you can have you can wear this side to work and this side to party and they're all one earring so you get a twofer there is a mark in here it says patent pending and it says sarah coventry so these are sarah coventry earrings these are three dollars whiting and davis oh whiting and davis hmm. whiting and davis earrings i know that that's highly collectible but here you go Wedding and Davis, reverse cameos, and glass. I think they're glass. Yep, $3. Those are cool. 
and they're in really good shape. Not like the same shape that the uh, brooch was in. Looked like it got run over by a car. <laughs> These are cool. These kind of remind me of the 60s. Woo! There's your measurements. A little over about a half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch by three quarters on copper tone painted enamel. There you go. Staying on the orange line, here's some orange faceted rhinestones. Look at the um, prongs on that one, the top stone. Those are nice. There's no prongs. I, these might be bezel set here. These are really nicely made. Oh, nothing in there. And, I mean, it's a, it's a unique color, you know? It's not an everyday color, but it is a bright tangerine. It's just gorgeous. This, this is a beautiful orange color. Next. I'll stay on the rhinestone trail here. This guy, these say pierced, and they look like they're pierced. But these look like they've been made to look old. Maybe they did have, I don't know, maybe those might be a gold or a gold wash over silver. But uh, these are all prong sets. So these are kind of cool. I don't know if somebody took some vintage earrings and put them on here. This looks like a vintage little holder. So anyway, $3 and look at that. Can you see it? <laughs> All right, here's some more rhinestones. These kind of are khaki. They have a Rivoli here. Fat, uh, these are Rivolis. They're, they're all Rivoli and they're all prong set. Nice. This one, this one's got an interesting um, backing. I haven't come across this very much. And they're easy to open. Let's see, sometimes if you, And sometimes you gotta look at the backs and see if they say right or left. This one doesn't have any direction. So there's those beautiful Rivolis. There you go. Here are some metallics. These have some wear on the back and it looks like they have wear on the front. But they're cute. And um, these just need to be, I don't know, these probably should go into craft because these need to be bent and reshaped in here. So those are going into craft. Here's some cute little silver tones. Screw backs, no marks. They kind of look Sarah Coventry-ish. what those look like and you can get an idea of what it looks what they are on the the grid size because this is an inch so they fit within an inch all right so there's those okay let's keep going these say marvella these are pears let's see if all the stones are there yep all the stones are there there's your size about a half an inch by three quarters of an inch. Here are a couple of more little danglies on screw backs. Yeah. I just need a little reshaping, but there you go. No marks. There's some more that have like little dangles coming out of like a ribbon. There you go. Silver tone, really good, hardly anywhere. 
And we're just gonna keep going here. These, I wanted to look a little closer. I think these like are kind of a Damascene effect to them with a, I know this, yeah, this, I'm not rubbing really hard. Just putting them together, they're, they're smooth. So there you go. But they do have like, looks like Damascene-esque on the petals. So those are really cute, tiny. And they do have, oh, I should have looked at these. Yeah, this is, I've seen this kind of a clasp on Damascene. This looks like it would, it would hurt. So be aware. Here's some, these say Trafari. And this is going to craft pearls missing. Okay, moving on. Here are some pearl drops. I usually take the, the, the backs off before I send them. If you have backs, I probably should buy new backs or anything, or, you know, through Amazon or something, but you can, you know. But those are those. See? The earring themselves. What's, oh, you're looking around? Okay, so here are some, I'm gonna have Joe open these lockets. Or open this one. Lockets. Yeah. Lockets. This one's going into craft. Most, um, you know, I really, well, I don't know if it's cameo or not. It doesn't look like it. Um, but usually, you, they, you know, real cameo, you would be able to see the back and it's not securing, so this is going into craft. Here is a really cute pendant. It has kind of a, a um, non-glossy tiger eye to it, so, oh, three bucks on all of these. This one has some wear. This is another locket, but it works, so these guys are $3 each. That's it on the locket. Let's do some brooches. Look at all of these brooches. Looky, 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 looky. Sorry for the dirty towel. I'll clean it for the next one. Oh, I'm not gonna sell those. Those I'll just put aside. Oh, some more like cameo. Cameo. Do I have any more? There's some of these, some squiggles, some leafies. Oh, that's a, a clip. That's pretty. This one's really nice. Pisces. That's a good one. All right, let's start out with these. Okay, so... This will come off. Try not to make these videos so long that you guys fall asleep. <laughs> All right. Will that come off? Yeah, there it goes. Clean as a whistle. All right, there's a, a brooch. There you go brooch. That's, here's a really um, asymmetrical um, star. Make sure you guys can see it. Right about there. Okay, asymmetrical star. We have a four-leaf clover. And there's the back. It does have a mark on it. And it says what? Let me mark on this one. That's pretty cool. All my brooches are five dollars each, and everything here is you buy Good four diva. items and you get one free. What does it say? Godiva. Godiva. 
Okay. No, no, no. G I O V. Giovanni. 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 Okay, so Giovanni for leaf clover. This is a beautiful, huh? Italian leaf clover. Oh yes, an Italian four leaf clover. Um, this is acrylic. Uh, nothing's missing. Cute little dogwood. There you go. Is this is a no name. There's your size. What's a piquet? P. I have no idea. Um, so anyway, timestamp is great. This um, is also a pendant. It's really cute. It doesn't look like it's been used much. Um, usually these are made out of, yeah, this doesn't feel like it's um, real. These are usually made out of shell and shells usually cold to the touch and it doesn't warm up right away. So there's that one. Here's a cute little one inch Pisces. Goes this way. This one is a, a leaf. No mark. Are you gonna sneeze too? Mm -hmm. Are you laughing? I just looked up the word that was on the back and I said that you don't wanna. Oh yeah, I don't wanna know? Okay. You, you don't wanna broadcast it on. Okay. So, okay, so there's that one. No mar mark. This is oh, a. Two of them here. I know. I already looked at. It. Okay. There's this one, and there's this one. None of these are Isn't marked. It? Yeah. That's supposed to have something on it. Yeah, it's Pisces. Oh. Get your glasses. Oh. <laughs> this is cool to the touch, for, but you know what? It's probably not real shell. I've never seen a blue shell before. All right. So here is. These are not marked. This one's really pretty. And here's a little star. There you go. A whole bunch of cute little brooches. So you got your sizes. Photograph, timestamp, or a screenshot, <laughs> or whatever you want to do to help des describe it. All right, that's a sweater clip, sweater clip, or not sweater, scarf clip. These are tiny, this little tiny guy. And he is not missing anything. Here's one, no mark. This is kind of cool. Fall's coming, sorry to say that. Here's another circular pin. This is pretty with a daisy in the center. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. This is a clip, a scarf clip with a pin. This is another circular. If I am going too fast, please feel free to go back and, you know, go through them again or email me with uh, questions. Uh, I don't mean to go fast. This is kind of my last lot. And then I have like and I have four boxes behind me of stuff to open. So <laughs> anyway, I just want, I'm kind of excited to get through these guys and then move on. So there you go. Oops. Catch them if you can. Can I get them all? I don't know. No, you didn't. Here's one. You dropped it, it's right there. Thank you. Or I helped you drop it. They always have. Here's a bee. A little bee. I'll check that one because I want to make sure that everything's that now. Stones are gone. So sorry. This what does this one say? Packet. Packet. All right. And you don't want to see what it translates because there's too many people that won't understand. What oh, yeah, okay. Is. All right, I'm not gonna. Okay, so this is an artisan piece. I want a 
What? No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> We've got almost everything. It's the rest of the brooches. And if you guys like sewing, got a couple here. So here's some brooches. This one is kind of a crescent moon kind of shape or a crescent shape. This one doesn't have a mark. There you go. There's a the size. I need to get centered here. Put these back. Whoops. Those. There's this one and this one. This is super adorable right there. And here's some more. This one looks homemade or some sort of artisan made. 2002. This one does have a name on it. But there's the, that's pretty, this black flower with a pearl. And there you go. Here are some really big bouquets. Uh, is that one missing? No. Yeah, this one's missing something right there. Off it goes to another life. This is porcelain that says Heather gold mine that's pretty hand painted with some gold accents all right now the scissors this is a domicine but i don't believe well it could be a true domicine i don't see anything that says spain or japan but there's a pair of scissors with a thimble it's really cute And this is a homemade piece, Karen Joyce Originals. Now this is meant to be thread, and I think all it needs is a touch of glue somewhere, which I will fix. I'm just trying to figure out where you would put, I think it goes somewhere behind, but it maybe it attaches like that or something, and it just kind of, oh, I see. See where it goes across the front? So it goes across like that, and then like that. So it kind of, yeah. So I need to fix that, because that's really something that I can fix, and if you're interested in it, I will fix it right away. So email me, jandapanda at comcast.net, and this could be your little pin. So cute. And this is made by Karen Joyce Originals, North Pole, Alaska. Sweater clips. These guys are $3 each. Those can come in with the brooches. Okay, there you go. Yeah, you can put them in the brooches. There's only three of them. And then these shoe clips, oops, these shoe clips I could do for $5 for the pair. Let me make sure that everything is there. Nope, these are going into craft. All right, now we got some bracelets. Woohoo! Now let's do the ring. This is a Park Lane ring. Just one ring? Just one ring. Yeah, so this one has, it's tiny. This is under uh, five, it's under a five, so probably a four and three quarters. Super tiny, it does have wear on the back. It does say Park Lane on the inside, and it has that blue crystal. So it's really itty bitty. So there you go. All right, let's see if any of these guys have anything missing. This guy is seven and a half. 
And it looks like all those little orange stones are there. Here's the back. There is no maker's mark anywhere. These are bracelets. Mm -hmm. It does feel kind of rough back here. Yeah. I'm thinking these are gonna go into craft. These are really rough. This this will this will scrape your skin raw. Yeah, there's some nasty snags there. So this guy's going into craft. Let's see if this is any smoother. See, I'm so I, I just like Joan Rivers and Monet so much because it's like you're not wearing it at all. You don't feel it. This feels really good. This one's a nice piece. And this one says Lisner. So Lisner, $5. Measurement on this beautiful summery blue color. It's about, mm, I don't know, six and three quarters. It's a little on the smallest, smaller side, but, and very smooth. All right, more, more, more. All right, honey, can you turn the oven on for me to 350? What? Can you turn the oven on for me for, to 350? Sure. Jamie's getting a puppy next week. Oh boy, can't wait. The police were across the street. Ooh. They went oh. down the street for a domestic. Mm-hmm. Didn't bring anything back, so I guess they settled it. All right. Good. Little, little bit of drama. How um, so it's about seven inches. This is really pretty. Three dollars. There's no mark on it. Let's see how my German Shepherd reacts to a puppy next door. Ooh. There we go. This is made of acrylic or plastic or celluloid. And it also says produced exclusively for Avon, Hong Kong. So $3. Interesting. Unusual Avon piece. So if you collect Avon or have you know, some sort of Avon esque. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. I like the um, elastic on it. It's like coated elastic, like hair bands. So I like that. Yeah, Avon, made exclusively for Avon. All right. I think I have a necklace that looks like this in one of my previous videos, or maybe the video that's just before this one. So um, keep an eye out, so if you, you know, got that bracelet you, or necklace, you might want this bracelet. So there's the overall size. And that's pretty cool. I like that. All right, I'm a seven, so this works. I have a bunch of cloisonne, and I don't have like about, oh, two, two um, subscribers that really like cloisonne. And I always get cloisonne, so, you know, just uh, let me know if you want that. Here's five. These are $3 each. So if you buy four, you get one free. So these are $3 cloisonnes. They're, just, um, they're all the same size. I mean, but I like them. They're cool. Some of them have design on the inside. Some of them don't. None of these have design on the inside. All right. So here's another cloisonne, which I love this one. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is a $5 piece, if I can get it to work. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna be very sad. Why doesn't it work? Let's, oh yeah, you have to push it up. So this, look at the inside. Isn't that gorgeous? Just beautiful. That's pretty. It is beautiful, $5. Very nice. Now let's see if I can get it off. Yeah, easy peasy. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. It's all smooth. All right, and then there's this. 
I don't know that you would call this a cloisonne. It could be inlaid shell, inlaid stone, or inlaid glass. It's brass on the inside. It's It'll go on me and off, no problem. So I think that it would work for a seven. So there you go, $5, it's a nice big one. All right, let's do some necklaces. Let's get this pile of pearls out of the way. Lots of pearls. This is small. And this is going into craft because it's missing a hook. Let's quickly go through these. All right, so this one goes this way. So I can move these guys over. This one is missing extender. I think I'm going to put this into craft. I don't sell a lot of pearls. Because there's just so many of them. This is really pretty, though. This would be um, a $3 piece. This has a medallion on it. We're almost to the end, folks. So, seven and a half. There's this one. Whoops, $3. There's the, the feature piece, the pendant. And it's in really good condition. This one, yeah, it looks like everything's there. This one's three dollars. I'm just gonna go over it real quick. Make sure nothing snaggy. Snaggy, snaggy. Mm -hmm. And a quick measure on this. It's got about a seven inch. It does have a mark here. It probably says Japan. Yep, Japan, $3. All of these necklaces here I'm showing you are $3. And some will be going into craft if they are broken in any way. This one's, okay. That's pretty too. I love, I love how, oh, this is, what's that? What is that? It's like a feather piece. Anyway, so. This one also says Japan. A lot of Japan pearls here. Do a quick measure. And they, most of these are just gonna be like seven inches. But anyway, a screenshot and timestamp, you might want to say, oh, it's the one that has the four on the bar, you know, the four. Um, but timestamp for these things is probably crucial. This one's almost eight inches with, almost eight inches extended. Yeah, it's pretty darn close. Okay. This one also has all of its parts, it looks like. Oh, this is gonna go into craft, look. It's just way, it needs a restring and um, for a $3 necklace, I'm not gonna do it. Craft is getting bigger. This is cute. It's like, oh, craft. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, this one's put in wonky. Yeah, it's going into craft. It, it is hand tied, but you know what? I have so many pearl necklaces. I don't want to deal with that. Or faux pearl necklaces. Yeah, I have a bunch of boxes that I haven't even opened yet. And I'm just, oh dear Lord. <laughs> this is insane. What? Who's, who said I 
could do this. Somebody should have stopped me. <laughs> Say, no, you can't do that. All right. Yeah, this is one of those untangling nightmares. So it's cute. It's got potential, but I can't untangle it in front, I mean, on the fly. So Joe's going to do that for me. Let's see if we can salvage that one. This one has all the stones here, all the stones there. Oh my gosh, we've got a set of, what the hell is, oh, I see, look. There's a little stone on the end of that. That's cool. That's really cute. I know I, they're smooth, but I'm, I'm pretty sure these are, yeah, I don't, they're kind of cool. I think they're just coated glass. Real pearls have a stone feel to it, so. And they, they're stone and they stay cold for a while. So I can get these things to do what they're supposed to do. Yeah, these, these are supposed to be, no, they're not even hand tied. This is, this needs a, a restring, so this is gonna go in the crack. Okay, joke. This one says, looks like it says Japan. Yes, Japan. This one's actually got some really beautiful beads, pearlized beads. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, these are really cool. I like those. This is seven and a quarter. These are really pretty. I do like those. Okay, this is cool. Are you still working on this thing? Well, yeah, we we'll discovered something here or something. Oh, it's got issues. Well, that's one thing I, I I I don't like is like when you get something completely untangled and you're working really hard at it and then you like realize there's like a bunch of crap missing off of it. Oh no, there's somebody tied it with some, oh. some string instead of the link. Oh, so put it in the craft. Okay. Avon. Here's an Avon. This one uh, also needs some Slip assistance. This one's going to go into craft. Tied it with string and thread. This one's gonna go into craft because it is needs another restring. But these are really cool. Craft. Oh man, these are four lots, people. This is um, uh, about half of it's going into craft. This is a coro piece. I'm gonna put the chicken in the oven. This one is a bracelet. This one's uh, about like goes from here to here. Seven and a half. That's really pretty. Well, it's seven and a half because it's meant to dangle and not be tight. So that's that's really pretty. So it's a coral bracelet. I'm gonna do three dollars on it. It's got some wear, but there is some pearls in there. Not natural pearls, faux pearls. There's another faux pearl bracelet, three dollars. It is a bracelet, no maker's mark. Oh, what the heck is that? That's kind of got a cool little dangly in the center. And I would assume that they're all there. Similar dangles on these sides. That's, that's different, that's interesting. Interesting. So 
this one would be seven inches. And you would wear it like so, because you want the dangles to go down like that. Oh. Oh, we're just gonna do it for a half hour. All right, there you go, maybe less. All right, so look at that. So three dollars, lightweight. Here is a, this looks like fall colors. Oh, I know, I was at Macy's at, in uh, downtown LA last weekend and they already had all the fall purses out. Cause I went through there and did like a little video of what um, they're selling as far as purses go. Uh, because you know, just a couple of years are going to be in those thread up boxes. So you need to see what's out there to know what to expect. And it might not even take a year. It could be like six months. The way things go out of style, or not out of style, but I mean, just, you know, the, the fast pace and change of fashion is just, okay, this is another one, but that's all right. We get the idea. Uh, but it just okay. changes so fast. fast. Yeah. Fanny packs came in yet last year, but what I noticed was backpacks. There's a lot of fashion backpacks out there. I mean, they're, they're <laughs> all the the big names are doing backpacks. I'm using a musette. A what? Do you want? Musette. Seven and a half. Well, I don't know what a musette is. It's French. Oh, French for? Oh, probably means bag. <laughs> it's not that it probably means bag. Okay, this is a necklace. This is really pretty. This kind of matches, I think, one of those pairs of earrings. So go back and look and see if you want those earrings that may be that. These, this does have a little bit of wear in the back, on the chain. But the front and the back of the, the necklace is very pretty. Oh, you know what I want to do this weekend? I want to go do one of a thrift store sh uh, shot of our local thrift stores. All right, well, this isn't cooperating. Where's my tip measure? This necklace is, um, could go up to eight and a quarter, eight and a half maybe. So that's pretty. All right, bezel set crystal, yay. I think I have two of these. Yes, yes, yes. So, these are all bezel set and they are crystal, some sort of crystal. They could be Austrian crystal. Uh, Swarovski brands theirs. I don't see any tags or clasps. So this would be $3. And if it is a Swarovski, then shame on me. All right. All right, so that one's about 17 inches. That one's beautiful. And you can layer this with the next one I'm going to show you. This one. <laughs> this one actually has a clasp, and this one says... This is an Austrian Crystal USA. Three dollars. I'm not messing around. All right. So this one is also it's about 17 inches. All right. There's a lot of I see. You know, notice the theme, black and white theme in these lots. might try and get a blue box tomorrow. Um, I haven't gotten one in a while. I do like surprises. So sometimes I get some really good surprises in these blue boxes. I haven't gotten one in a couple of weeks. So we shall see. This one doesn't have a mark. That one is about seven and a half. 
These guys could use a little polishing. Let's see what my Simple Shine does for them. Yeah, it does a pretty good job. A lot of these pieces just need a wipe down. $3. Oh, it does have a mark, so. This one says SAC, I think. Yeah, this could be Sarah Coventry. But it's got a little wear on it, so $3. Here is a crystal necklace. This one probably, yeah, this one also said made in Austria. $3 crystal. And instead of, oh no, these are hand tied. These aren't beads in between, so. And a lot of these necklaces are, you know, considered like morning necklaces or, you know. So it's a little over seven and a half. Right at seven and a half, I would say, on this one. Very nice, $3. Do this all day, $3. Okay, this is very pretty. And it's missing stones. Uh, that's a shame. Why are all the pretty ones? Yeah, there's another one missing. So once you see one missing, you see a gazillion missing. So, okay. This belongs to a gazillionaire. Yeah, a gazillion, bazillion. Yeah. Where did you throw it? I got it right here. Okay. okay, this is showing some wear, and I don't know if it can be cleaned. I might try and do it. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's, it's dirty. I might do a sonic bath on this. It's got some wear on the back. This is a nice, heavy piece. And I don't see a maker's mark. Sometimes they trick me and they put one on one of the links. Oh, no, nothing there. But this one actually has matching earrings. So if you're interested in this, I would do this whole set for $6. $3 for the earrings, $3 for the necklace. And again, this would be a set, so this would qualify for one item. And you you know, this would be your expensive piece and everything else would fall into line. So let's see here. Uh, please don't be broken. <laughs> <laughs> So if this one, I think it might clean up. I might do a Sonic on it, a little bit of, you know, like a little toothbrush. But there you go. And this one goes, this one's about eight inches, maybe seven and a half inch, if I move those earrings out of the way. The earrings are about an inch and a half. I might do a Sonic on those. If you're interested, I'll do that. If not, then I'm not going to. Um, now, Maker, this one. I don't know, this has like a Coro feel to it. Uh, it could even be Sarah Coventry. It could be many things. Um, I don't see any marks. But it's got this really cute tassel on the end. It probably means something. Almost done. I've got two more necklaces to go and then we're done with this video. Where am I? I'm like at 54 minutes. That's not bad. Some of my videos can go to like an hour and a half. Oof. So this one's seven and a half. So there you go. Yeah, if you send me a timestamp, screenshot, email jandapanda at comcast.net and, um, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go over it and um, I'll shoot you. I mean, like you get 
for items. You get one free on my my videos. I did have a video that was a friend's video that, that doesn't apply. So, um, I hate to tell you that, but on my, all my other videos, unless I specify, um, it's buy four items, get one free. So this one's a little under seven inches. This is kind of tight. And this one has a mark on it. And it says, it's got a symbol. I don't know. $3. It's a nice heavy piece. All right. Joe's going to look at those. This, I think, is fantastic. This is the finale. Look at that. When I was laying it out, I was uh, looking, making sure that all the stones are in place. It does have a matching set of earrings. And again, so if you if you lose stones, it's, well, I don't think it's going to help with these black ones, but if you're missing stones out of these stations or these flowers, you've got a pair of earrings here, and these are pierced. They do show wear, but this is, these are really heavy and thick um, posts, um, but these are really pretty. So this whole set's gonna be 10. And this chain may have been replaced Looks like there may have been some repairs on the chain, but this is so, this is really old. This could be like 30s. What do you think, Mom? Maybe the 30s? Yeah, this is really pretty, but I think some of it is, has been, all of these stones are prong set. So there's a lot of work here. Let's do a measurement. Measurement, please. But this is just gorgeous. I'll give you a closer look at the end, but this one's going to be 10. For the set, you get a pair of earrings, too. So this is, uh, I would say, maybe 11 and a half inches. So that's good. Let's take a look and make sure together but nothing is missing. Is that missing a stone there? Just a watermark with a no. diamond and a star inside it. Oh, well, that's all right. That. It's not missing a stone. It might be my fingers in, in there and it's tilting it. Oh, let me look some more. That is so pretty. Yeah. It, it's not missing. It's in there, and it looks like it's in there pretty good. Just like when you see them on a different light, you have to... Wow. This is really set in there. Um really uh, have that setting right there. It's, it's quite impressive. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm really looking hard. I think that one spot, it was just the way the reflection was. It could have a little bit of a twist in the mesh. I mean, if there's a stone missing, I mean, it's not like I didn't look. Um, now these are in there to stay. This is very well made. And the prongs are all in place. The prongs show wear, but um, yeah, everything is there. And this looks like it has had some repairs done on, like right here. That's a different tone, and this is all worn. It's got wear on this side. It might even be tarnish. I don't know. Oh.
Well, I doubt it's precious metal. I'll probably test it before I upload the video, but I don't think so. I'll do some more testing on it, but as it stands now, it's $10. If, um, yeah, it's really dirty. Like, I would, I would feel comfortable to putting this in a Sonic, but I'm not going to. Um, anyway, there you go. So this is the grand finale. There's this beautiful necklace. Thank you very much for uh, watching Janda Panda Treasures. And if you want, like anything, email jandapanda at comcast.net. Timestamp, screenshot, or a really good description. And shipping starts at $4 and goes up from there. So send me an email. Tell me what you think. Put some positive remarks in the comments. If I have sold you jewelry in the past and you have some nice things to say, put them in the comments. And uh, if you don't have anything nice to say, send me an email and I'll fix it. All right. Thank you. Um, good night.